the priest. Personal is not that bad, but there's a, so a strong layer. Good. Um, very 44. Good. Okay. First, let's come up to ESM mass depth. We do have a lot of contacts here. Let's see. And um, what the hell is that? Why the hell I'm going down? Because I wanted to go up. That was therapy on my part. Um, okay, a Tilligan. That's the one we are aiming to sink. What else? Why on earth do I have two of these here below this? Below this with a flat. There, Risa. Uh, next one, S3, that's not a Risa. Aloy might be Cara, no, 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 Aloy. Cassin, Cassin, it is. Next, those are the three you have. Okay, um, doesn't seem to be pretty close to us. Let's keep on going slightly up. I think the pro uh, tow the rail and tow the race are especially. Um, decided not to do that. Uh, actually, I think in the Los Angeles it was streamed from this dive plane here. Okay, um, ESM must up. Let's check that signal of strength, whether we can check. Ooh, seven. That's a lot of strength, I think I can get away with using Periscope for a very short and brief period of time. Uh, but must be really, really brief. We don't have visual on the chicken with Chilligan. Uh, no on the Wisha. No on the Cashin. Actually, I think we do. There's something there. I think. Yep. Have contact with the Chilean. That's enough for me. Actually, we do have their caching. Okay, with those two, I'm happy enough. Greeback! Okay. I can do two things here. I think I'm going to We have contact on Kribak, Silicon, we know precisely where they are. This Grisha is not a huge deal. I can deal with this if it's close by. There's going to be helicopters. The Kriba has helicopters. But there's a very strong surface so if we go under we can get away. Um yeah, missile strike is the best idea here, I think.
Also, let's check signatures. So that wizard doesn't have us. That Riven doesn't have us. Good. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. So three, two, three, one, two, two. I want to see send three to the Brivac. Most dangerous ship right now here. One to the Tilkin. Tilkin. If it kills it, okay. If it doesn't, it will hurt it enough for it to not be run, um, able to run away. Actually, scratch that. Uh, that I might send one to the Grisa, three to the Brivac. The Griva has pretty good um, defenses, but I don't think it can deal with three incoming missiles. One, it might be able to kill three, I pretty much doubt it. Okay, two of them. Let's... The first one I want to be on pop-up. Second and third is going are going to be on Siskin. Um, one head on narrow search. Yeah, it has it has a uh, Sigus, but it's not extremely powerful. I mean, it is powerful, but against three misses in quite um, succession, I don't think it's going to be enough. As we're starting, the closing weapon systems don't work very well, bow on and rear on. Also, this missile is going to overfly the Grisa. In that case, I might as well send it to the Grisa directly. So I'm going to do that. Okay, weapon control systems, Harpoon, Tube 1. Actually, there's no reason to. Get this on narrow. Two, one. Fire. Two, two. Fire. Two, three. Fire. Two, four. Target. Risa. Fire. Down planes. All speed ahead. Full left rudder. Reload with Mark 48. Okay, we've been detected. That's a Silex. But I'm pretty confident we are going to be able to get away from it. Okay. Torpedo amidst uh, and rudder amidships. Bring down speed to two thirds ahead. Grisa is dead. Grisa is dead. What? We saw an explosion. Grisac is dead. Grisac is dead. And we all got a hit on, I think, the last harpoon hooked on the Tsirikin. Uh, Okay, I know we have an incoming. That's the only thing that worries me. But we are clearing the datum at pretty high speed. Torpedo should be on this position. We are already here. Okay. Let's come right to a course of 300. Okay, torpedo incoming, not that I didn't wait for that. 
doesn't have our position, however. Uh, come, come left <laughs> to a horse of 300. I was expecting it back here, however. They didn't have our exact, po exact position. That was a desperation, so that's good. Okay, we got away with it. It's risky. Missiles are always risky. Uh, now, of course, there's a um, heart in Chilligan here. We have to deal with that after. Oh, 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 torpedo has us. Torpedo has. Okay, uh, didn't I load a uh, mouse here? Seems not. Uh, okay. Damn it. That was unfortunate. Okay, flank speed ahead. Get ready for the basics. Full right rudder. Not performed. Up planes. Drop noisemaker. Let's go over the layer if we can. Imitating. No problem. Over the layer, over the layer, over the layer, as fast as we can. Down on the planes. Silent running. We broke the surface, but not a big deal. Stabilize the sub. From down there, shouldn't be able to pick us. At least not in silent running. Anyway, let's keep them all ready. <laughs> Just in case. We are over the lair, putting a lot of di uh, putting distance between him and us. Oh, he's getting a return. Yeah, full speed ahead. Same thing, but reverse order. Um, full left rudder. Those torpedoes are really really hard to okay down planes go down drop noise maker there keep on going down go really deep here okay two thirds ahead bring the planes up we are under the test depth but that's okay Surprising how a Hail Mary Silex was able to put me in so much trouble. Okay, we have to account for the possibility that there's some helicopter close by, right? That was a Kreebak. He might have had a helicopter already aloft or not. If it didn't, well, those harpoons might have hit him before he could send uh, one up. I think we are okay now. Yeah, that was pretty epic, Super Nintendo. 
Missile attacks always are. The problem is they are so damn dangerous for the submarine. But that's how you do it. I mean, you send the whole volley and you get the hell out of the position you fire from immediately. Because otherwise things get ugly really, really, really quick. That's... The torpedo is getting a return. Shit, it's coming for us again. Okay, uh, fire moss. Let's see if that distracts it. Seems it worked. Flank speed ahead. Let's put as much distance as we, as we can. Well, actually, not flank. Let's go full. If it goes for him, I want to go east to put as much distance as we can. Okay, no need for that. Good. Load the mouse. Up on the planes. Let's go close to the surface. Let's see where that chilikin is. Well! It's nice to have done a skilled attack after dying like a derp. <laughs> Okay, reestablish contact with the chicklin. Chick 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 we obviously don't have a lot of information about it. I'm probably going to do a couple of radar um, sweeps just to make sure that's the only thing left around here. I mean, radar usually you don't want to use because it gives out your position, right? But I think I, I, I have already given away my position. Also, let's load my last harpoon. I don't think you can control the depth of the, of the MOS. It stays at the depth you launch it. So the idea is you launch it at one given depth and then you change it if you want. Um, You can use it pre uh, preventively, yes, but uh, the problem... Oh, well, that's, that's too much of an angle to come up. Um, the problem is that uh, what if you throw the MOS towards a position where the sonar, does, uh, the sonar of the torpedo doesn't pick it up? You want to know where the torpedo is. And once you know where the torpedo is and where its sonar can reach, then you deploy the MOS to distract it and part ways Elsewhere. You guys use it preventively, yes, uh, especially if there are helicopters around, it's very useful for that, but in the rest of the scenarios, not so much. Okay, how's that contact developing? 39%. They actually might forego the use of radar and use a periscopic death um, look in uh, instead. Okay. We're at 40 feet. We shouldn't be breaching the surface. Actually, I think we are. Yeah, because uh, we are a little bit higher. The wave motion sometimes that to you. But I want to be shallow with that 50 because I want to reach very far with my periscope. Okay, uh, it's on 37. And it's on flames. Oh, shit. I always... Pick it. Um, just to be sure, I'm going to do a couple of radar searches, sweeps, rather. This badly hit. Uh, is nine miles away. 
yeah and has two wrecks in the middle that might distract a torpedo okay I think goes without saying that this is for our missile and this time we can actually see it in action for all the flight two three fire Okay, we are out of harpoons, which I don't really mind, honestly. They came really handy in this scenario. Okay, drop the mask. No sense in radiating anymore. Down planes. Right rather. There you go. Radar has gone active, has acquired the target. It's coming in and... <laughs> Sound corner explosion on the bearing of Master 2. <laughs> okay. I think that was it. It was. Well. What about a pretty nice fight? Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Next orders.